Hey guys, it's Brea. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be making a storage box for stat earrings and for that we're going to be first making the template. To make the template I'm using this notebook papers and you don't have to use this and this is just me showing you what I did. Uh, because of the lines it was easier to just make this. These are the measurements that I went for. Later on this video those changed but you're going to find out when that happens. I'm going to be working with the square and these two lines. This is air dry clay works wonders with this kind of like projects. First I'm going to roll it, not like super thick but it's not thin enough that it will break. Oh and by the way I'm working over a piece of wax paper because it's gonna be easier. I'm going to go with my template, I'm going to put it on top and with a mechanical pencil I'm just going to mark the square of my template. I'm not going to cut it yet, just going to mark. First is the square one, then I'm going to be marking these two guys right here and in total I need four of those. I'm going to let them dry just so they can hold a bit their own shape because then I'm going to be using some scissors so I could have like more sharp edges and my lines look better when I cut them. For the leftover pieces, I never throw them away, I stuck them together because it's a lot to waste, it's going to work after. Then I'm going to let my pieces dry, I'm going to be letting them dry like this after I'm going to go with my cutter and I'm just going to place them upside down so everything dries evenly. Because this is a storage box for mini studs, I'm going to be using this round pads like for uh, removing makeup and stuff and those are the ones that I had but if you have like those square ones just work with them or you can use regular cotton balls. I'm going to be working with this ones and these are like how far I want to go for and I'm just going to mark how much I need from that and then I'm just going to cut the excess of that. Remember I told you at the beginning that measurements were gonna change? This is one. So then I'm going to let everything dry overnight. I'm ready to uh, move on to the next step. For that I tried super glue and it didn't work. What worked was my hot glue gun. So I'm just going to glue everything. You have to work fast enough. So just be careful when you're working with this. And yeah, I'm just going to uh, glue away until I have my box. I'm going to go and paint my box and to paint it I'm going to be using some acrylic paint, black one brush and I'm just going to paint kind of like the edges. You can use any color that you want. You don't need to paint the whole thing because we're going to be putting something on the middle part and then I'm just going to paint the outside of the box as well. Then I'm going to be taking some piece of fabric, you don't need that much. And I'm just going to um, make sushi rolls out of like my round cotton pads. And yeah, I'm just going to well roll them like that. And yeah, then I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. And then I'm just going to glue the whole thing so it stays in there. And how many you go for depends on how tight you want your box to be. But for this, like measurements, a four is good. And then to my sushi rolls made out of fabric, I'm going to go and just glue the edges. So it's going to be easier for me to place them for the next step. Painting the bottom part is optional, but I didn't go for it because uh, it's not going to be like visible anyways. But if you want to cover everything, just go ahead and do that. I'm going to be adding some glue on the bottom part of my uh, sushi roll, fabric roll, whatever you call it. And then I'm just going to glue inside of my box. In the last one, I didn't add any hot glue gum because it was tight enough and it wasn't going anywhere. But, you know, it's pretty much up to you. And as a final step, I'm going to decorate my box. For that, I'm going to be taking some gold acrylic paint and the back part of this small angled brush by e.l.f. And this is going to be like my dotting tool. I'm just going to be adding some polka dots and two sides. I'm going to be adding fuller polka dots on the other like corners. I'm just going to be adding less polka dots. One is busier, one is less busy. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you in case you have a small collection like I do. This is pretty much all I own as far as mini stud earrings go. Before, this is how I would store them, like stuck in them. It was a little of a mess to just use them on the go. And yeah, this makes everything a lot easier to handle, to organize, and just to store. Earrings are easier to grab like this and you can store them back in and everything looks a bit more put together pretty affordable to make. These are the things that most of us have at home and again that air dry clay is not expensive at all. Hope you like this, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it somewhere book and watch. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you on Saturday and take care. Bye guys!